Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to design pixel art in Figma. Uh, as you might know, pixel art is really popular these days, especially in the NFT space. So let's see how can we do this entire thing in Figma. So let's get started. So before we jump into the tutorial, let's first understand the origin of pixel art. So back in the days, the computing power of computers were not that great. Even the graphic cards were not that powerful. So the obvious thing that they could render was quite pixelated. And back then it was a necessity rather than an aesthetic choice, I would say. Uh, but going forward over the years, uh, pixel art gained more popularity in the cult, became a very popular form of art. And these days, especially very, very popular because of the rise of NFTs especially CryptoPunks and other things that you have seen uh, selling in massively high scale on the NFT markets are pixelated graphic art. So graphic art has amassed a lot of cult following over the years. Traditionally, pixel arts were done in four different sizes. So one was 16-bit pixel art, the other one was 32-bit, 64-bit and 128-bit. Uh, as you can see in the 16-bit, which is basically 16 by 16 pixel, uh, you will see less of the detail. Everything was so pixelated, you cannot make out any of this thing but it also meant that you have to do less work and you have to draw less things. Whereas if you move towards the left, you see 128 bit, which is much more detailed, much more clearer picture, but that would also mean that you have to put in more effort to draw this artwork. So these were the four popular formats that used to be done for pixel art, but I think 62 bit and the 30, 64 bit and 32 bit was more popular because it still retains the pixelated uh, aesthetics but it's also not that complicated to draw as 128 bit. So 64 and 32 bits were the most popular one. Uh, we are going to design the 64 bit and I'll explain the problems and challenges that we'll face in Figma and how to overcome that. By the way, if you are very serious about pixel art, then I would recommend to try out Photoshop or Illustrator because they are the best tool to do pixel arts. Uh, they're designed to do all those things because in there you can actually design in pixel uh, scale and then you can basically scale up that entire graphic card to whatever format you want and you'll have much more flexibility and options so if you are looking for creating specifically pixel arts then uh, figma is not the right tool Pix uh, photoshop and illustrator is the right tool um, we are doing it in figma because just for fun and it's easy to do so let's uh, that's one thing that to keep in mind so, so we are in figma right now and let's design our 64-bit artwork here now the problem with 64 pixel by 64 pixel uh, artwork is that it's really small and for any practical purpose you have to scale that up to at least let's say 500 pixel by 500 pixel size. Um, now the problem with Figma is that if you work at 64 pixel by 64 pixel which is really tiny and you work at a pixel level and then you scale that artwork up what will happen is Figma will just make the pixels bigger I mean it will just scale the entire blob bigger and not look good when you scale it up. Um, in F Illustrator and Photoshop, you have algorithms where it increases the pixel uh, number, but it fills the empty pixels with some uh, algorithm so that it looks, still looks pixelated and good. But that's not the case with Figma. So what we have to do is, we have to start with a larger canvas itself. So what we will do is, in the 64 by 64 artwork, what we'll do is we'll multiply everything by 10. So our entire artwork will become 640 by 640 pixel, which is still a higher resolution. And each of the pixel, instead of one pixel, it becomes 10 pixels, okay? So we're just multiplying everything by 10, so it becomes 10 times higher. And that's, and that's where, and that's how we'll work on the entire artwork. So let's start doing that. I think you understood a little bit of maths here. We're just multiplying everything by 10. So now what we need to do is we'll just hit our A tool and create our artboard. And the dimension that we want to give is, is basically 640 by 640, okay? So now this is our first artboard and let's name it as uh, pixel art. So now our artboard is ready. Now what we need to do is we need to build the pixels in between this artboard. So we want to fill this entire artboard with pixel. Now, as we said, um, it's not a pixel tool. Figma is not a pixel, we have to artificially create that pixel and you also have to understand that every pixel is now 10 pixel here because we have multiplied everything with 10. So what we will do is we'll create rectangles, we'll virtually create pixels. So let's create a rectangle and we want the rectangle to be precisely 10 by 10. 
okay so our first pixel is ready and we have to do two things with it first of all um, we have to place it in the bottom left so we'll do that like this and we have to give it a fill we'll give it a white fill because then it will merge with the background and second of all it also makes selection of the rectangle easy when you have a lot of pixel on this entire uh, canvas it'll be easier to select individual pixel if you have a fill otherwise it'll become really difficult to select one particular rectangle okay so we'll give a white fill and we'll also give it a stroke now uh, giving it giving a stroke or not it's totally up to you it's totally up to your aesthetic choice uh, i did it because it looks really good and it shows that grid lines and it looks really great so for that particular reason i'll put up a small uh, stroke to it so let me just add a stroke um, one pixel stroke we will add and i'll give it like something like this okay so light gray stroke that i have added um okay so now our first pixel is ready with a fill of white color and a border now what we need to do is very simple now you have to do command d okay and once you do command d you will see that figma has created a second rectangle for you or second square for you which is basically a second pixel okay and we'll place it like this now you have two pixels and the second one is selected now since you have placed it like this figma knows that you have added into the right now you just have to hit command d command d command d till you fill the entire row so if i show you how it works if i just hit command d so we'll just hit command d command d command d and it will just keep placing all the rectangles all the square actually on the right and we have to do this till we complete the entire uh, horizontal space in the bottom okay so we'll do this and done so now if you see our bottom pixel row is created and what we did is we just created the first pixel move the second pixel to the right and then command d command d command d and automatically place the entire row with the pixel now what we need to do is we need to select all the pixels that we have created in the bottom row okay everything is selected and we again have to do command d with the entire thing so if i do command d it creates a group of rectangle and i'll just place it here like this now it has placed an entire row of uh, pixels on top of the bottom one now what we have to do is the same process we have to do command d command d command d and it will duplicate the entire row till the top so let's do that if you see i'm just hitting command d i don't have to do anything and it will just fill the entire space the entire thing with the horizontal rows the horizontal cells till the top so now you have filled the entire thing with sorry the entire thing with uh, rectangles so now you have the entire rectangle the entire canvas filled with pixels now these will become our pixel and if you see the selection now becomes really easy because you have given it a fill and a stroke to it so this is how you create the pixels okay now what we have to do is the next step is select all the rectangles that you have created till now and group them together in a frame so i'll just go here and i'll just select all the rectangles that i've created this will just make things a little bit more structured and organized okay so i'll just come here select our all the rectangles that we have created and option command g to create to group them in a frame and we'll call it pixels okay so now everything is in the canvas and all the rectangles are now grouped in the pixels okay in the frame called pixels that's it now the next thing that we need to do is uh, so you have to play with a few things here i'll explain that but now our pixel setup is ready now uh, if you want to design something if you want to start designing something you can do two things you can either go directly in the rectangles and start filling them with whatever color you want so just change the fill let's say you want to draw something and you can draw it automatically but just change the fill and your pixels are now getting filled up right so you can do the artwork like this or if you want to create some reference and then on top of it you want to draw the pixel art that also you can do for example uh, i'll just show you yeah so if you see this is a pizza slice image that i've created in the ipad now i want to create pixel art like this like pixel art on top of this reference image so what i'll do is i'll just uh, cut it from here and i'll come here okay and i want to create a reference image on top of which i want to fill the pixels i don't want to fill the pixels directly so what i'll do is i'll come here and i'll uh, paste the pizza slice image on top of it 
and the image is slightly bigger so what i'll do is i'll just resize it and it's a square image so you can just basically do it from here okay so what i've done is i have i also i have taken this image that i've created in the ipad and i also have created the color palette for it and on top of it now i want to create the pixel art so the pixel group that you have which contains all the rectangles i'll just move it on the top and the pizza slice image that is the reference image that is in the bottom and what i have to do is i have to select this frame that you see that contains all the rectangles and give it a pass through of let's say 50 so that we can see the background we can see the background image okay and just so that in nothing moves up when you click you just lock the um, image that contains the pizza slice that contains our reference image so i lock it here so that i don't accidentally move it and on top of it i have all the pixels i've just reduced the opacity of it uh, to make things even more easier to do what i have also done is uh, i have created um, different colors that basically is available here and i've given them name like nft colors different colors that i have i have here so you can also do that you can create a color palette so that you only choose colors from there okay so now if you see our entire setup is ready on the background we have a reference image and on top of it we have our rectangles now what we can do is we can just come here and start filling our rectangles so for example i'll just fill this this right just select multiple rectangles that you want now it becomes a little tedious because obviously um, it's not a pixel art tool but it's really fun actually and one of the easiest part of this is that uh, once you're done with this um, you can very easily toggle colors here if you want so because figma shows you a selection color so you can really easily change the colors if you want and just like this you trace everything out and it takes a little bit of time if you want you can even start with a smaller resolution canvas uh, multiply by 5 or 2 so that you know the same mathematics that we have done and you just trace out the different uh, pixels that you have and once everything is done um, you just come to the entire selection that contains the rectangle and change the opacity to 100 in the end when you have done everything and in the end you just change it and it will look like the pixel art so that's the way to do pixel art in figma and then after that you can basically export it from here and it'll export the entire thing into jpeg png svg whatever, whatever format you want you can do that uh, if you want to change colors directly you can just select the uh, you can select the entire thing and you can see the selection colors and you can basically change the color let's say you don't want this color you want to change this color to something else you can directly change it from here and it'll change it directly here so that's the benefit of selection colors as well if you have color palette created you can very easily change the colors even going forward now i'll show you the few things that i have already built using this particular thing so i was like very curious about building pokemons in uh, pixel art so here I have created pixel art for different type of Pokemons and I was planning to launch them as NFTs. I haven't done that yet. I'll do it and I'll let you know so that you guys can mint it for free. I'm not going to put any charge for it, but yeah. So for example, this one, this one, I've just done all this in pixel art. And the same technique that I'm showing you, I've just selected some colors, a background reference image, and I've added and created this particular uh, pixel art here in Figma. So the same way you can also try. And once you try, do let me know. Uh, I couldn't find anything simpler than this. So this is the simplest way to do pixel art in Figma. And yeah, if you do it, just tag me and let me know and I'll have a look. Uh, I hope you like the tutorial and that's it for today's video. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.